There are static IP addresses, and there are dynamic IP addresses. We'll talk about how to configure both on this edition of Tech Talks next. If your business receives large amounts of data, you should probably have your own FTP server so you can send and receive files. That's when a static IP address would be best so everyone can reliably connect to your server. A lower cost alternative is a dynamic IP address. However, that comes with drawbacks such as security and reliability issues. I'm going to show you how to configure both. Once you log into your Cisco switch, Look under MAC address tables on the sidebar and click on static addresses. Static MAC addresses are assigned to a specific physical interface and VLAN on the device. If that address is detected on another interface, it's ignored and not written to the address table. So here's how to define the static address. Click on add and enter the following parameters. Choose a VLAN ID and enter the MAC address. Select an interface and status, which describes how the entry is treated. Permanent means the system never removes this MAC address. Delete on reset means the MAC address is deleted when the device is reset. Delete on timeout deletes the address when aging occurs. And secure makes the MAC address secure when the address is logged. Now click apply. We'll now move on to dynamic addresses. The dynamic address table contains the MAC addresses acquired by monitoring the source addresses of frames entering the device. To prevent this table from overflowing and to make room for new MAC addresses, an address is deleted if no corresponding traffic is received for a certain period of time. That's known as aging time. Here's how to configure the aging time for dynamic addresses. Under MAC address tables, click on dynamic address settings. Then enter the aging time, which is a value between the user configured value and twice that value minus one. For example, if you enter 300 seconds, the aging time is between 300 and 599 seconds. Now click apply and your aging table is updated. To query dynamic addresses, look under MAC address tables and click dynamic addresses. In the filter block, click the appropriate checkbox and enter the VLAN ID for which the table was queried. Then, enter the MAC address for which the table was queried. Then select an interface for which the table was queried. You can search for a specific unit, slot, ports, or legs. Click Go and the dynamic MAC address table is queried and the results are displayed. Now you know how to configure both static and dynamic addresses. Thanks for watching Tech Talks from Cisco. We'll see you next time.